Oh my god. It worked. Am I dead? But how did it? The coding and the data implied that- I'm dead! I'm dead! No, 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 you're not dead! What? Are you- What? Are you okay? Are you feeling unwell at all? Where am I? Who are you? What? Judging by the articles of clothing, I'd say early 1800s, wealthy, probably a lady? Probably? I was making some interesting headway, sure, but I was still months from a successful drive. Murder. I expected it to lead to some interesting up, data, but and I, saw the light I hadn't heard any of the codes. It doesn't make sense. It, it shouldn't have worked. I tripped on my... <gasps> Quick, what is the date today? Pardon? The date! The date! May 9th, 1814. Ah! Ah! You traveled exactly 200 years into the future, and judging by your accent, halfway across the world. Huh? Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> I'm so terribly sorry. I have the most frightful impulses. Uh, yeah, maybe just some ice. Ice, yes. Um, ice? Uh, it's in the kitchen. In the refrigerator. The what? How does one call the servants? It's that big metal box, the door on the left. This is your servant? So you built a... Uh, mm, a machine. Mm, that made traveling through time possible. Yeah, it's always something I've been fascinated by. I mean, it was more of a makeshift machine until this company that I work for, Ultracorp, they awarded me this fellowship. A substantial grant and equipment for my own experiments. How does it work? It's a totally alien concept to you. I mean, machines in the whole Industrial Revolution, they didn't start affecting day-to-day -day life until the late 1800s. 1814. <gasps> you don't even know what electricity is. Oh, I must be dreaming. Pretty incredible, right? What do you plan on doing with me? You can stay here until I figure out a way to get you back. But you're gonna love the future. It's really great. There's a lot to catch you up on. I see. And when are we to be married? Wait, what? No, I... I don't want to marry you. You don't? Oh. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I was being forced to marry a pompous man of little to no intelligence, Sir Richard Neville. Oh, well I promise there will be no forced marriages here. I'm in the future. In America. In the future. I know, it's a lot to take in. Oh. You must be exhausted. I'll sleep on the couch tonight. You can sleep in my room. But don't worry, there's a lock on the door, just in case you feel... I don't know. You're very kind, sir. Oh! Jake. Sir Jake. It's nice to meet you. Uh. And... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, come on, I'll show you around. Like how the shower works and all that stuff. The... Pardon? I'm Victoria Bullock. And I'm Matt Dallas. And you're watching Anne and Jake, and we hope you liked uh, the episode that you just saw. If you did, you can click the little like button, it's just below us. Uh, you can subscribe. You can, that's also just below us. Uh, you can also share mm -hmm. via your social media. Or comment. Tell or us comment. What you thought. All of these are just below us. You can do all of them, or one of them. But do all of them. But do all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for next week's episode. Yes! You can click on these other videos to see Matt and I answering fun questions and talking more about Anne and Jake and the filming process. <laughs>